Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and the first in a long ongoing series on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Today we're going to talk about control bindings because I'm sure some of you uh, have had problems as I did early on with getting the bindings figure out, figured out rather the uh, interface is a little bit different than it was in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So what I recommend you first of all do is place the plane on any runway uh, as I have done here. And then once you've done that, go ahead and hit the escape key on your keyboard so that you can access the settings gear icon click that gear icon then we're going to go over into controls and then once you are in the control section you're going to see your list of devices and below that your list of preset configurations now i want to talk about the preset configurations first because this is an area that can cause you no end of problems when you don't have a preset configuration you're going to see the word none. And you'll notice here that there are general controls. These are non-aircraft specific. These are airplane controls like flight, service, flight surfaces and flaps and all sorts of things. And then there are the specific 172 Hawk controls, which to be honest with you, myself, and I think a great deal of others haven't managed to figure that out yet, exactly what those are for. So we're not going to sweat that today. But before you go and make all of your bindings, um, know a couple of things. Number one, if you're using something like a HODES Warthog throttle, it comes with, if you choose bindings that are assigned, it comes with a lot of preset bindings. So if you don't want to start from scratch, when you've got a product like this, you don't have to. Now, if you wanted to make your own version of this, or you wanted to make modifications, I would suggest that you first off start by making a copy. So we'll go choose duplicate and we're gonna give that copy a name. We'll just call it demo, something intuitive. If you wanted this copy to apply to all aircraft and to be the default for all aircraft, you would tick these boxes. So once you've done that, now you can see that you've got my new airplane profile. So what would be the use case for this? Well. If you have multiple profiles, <clears throat> in the case of a th throttle quadrant, you might have a profile for single engine, you might have another profile for twin engine, you might have another profile for uh, twin engine jet, you might have a fourth profile for four engine jet, because all of those profiles do need to have different mappings in order for your hardware to work with the aircraft that you're flying. Now, once you're in a particular profile, in this case, my new airplanes profile demo, if you wanted to add a new binding, um, you could go take this filter and go from assigned to either essential or none, either or. You could search for whatever binding that you wanted. So let's just say that we wanted the beacon light beacon lights on and then you would click it and then you would flick whatever button it was that you wanted assigned to that particular uh, control now if you decided you know hey i don't want that any longer click on the gear icon and you can click on the little trash can right here and that will go ahead and get rid of that assignment that you just made now you can see that it is cleared out so same applies for general controls. You'll notice here that if I was to, I'm starting off with none, and rather than go and uh, make modifications to this none profile, I would strongly recommend, and this applies for all controls, not just for the throttle uh, that I'm dealing with right now, start off first by making a new profile. So in this case, we would call that something like Trent's general controls and in this case i'm going to put the word demo and then i would want this to apply most likely to all aircraft and most likely it would be my default um, and then i would click ok and so now once i've got my profile ready to go now you can look at assigned there is nothing assigned here oh, actually if we get rid of the word beacon So there's nothing assigned. So how do you go about assigning things? Well, you can type in whatever you want to do. So if you were looking to say, assign trim, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, sorry, unassigned. 
that's what I want, meant to do. So if you have unassigned and then you type in trim, anything with the word trim in it is going to show up in this list. And then you would pick whatever you wanted and then you would map it to the control that you wanted it. The other thing that you could do is you can do search by input. So now press something on your control. In this case, I don't have anything mapped. Oh, that's because this, there we go. Joyce, so I moved the throttle control on the, the uh, Warthog controller. When I moved it forward, it told me that that was assigned to joystick lateral access Zulu. So if you want to figure out what is already assigned to a given button, that's how you do it. You click this, then you click the button or turn the knob or move the control and it will show you what it is mapped to. Now, in my case, I don't want this demo control here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete it. Now, before I do that, I do want to make sure that you're aware of that. If you have created a profile, and you want it assigned to all aircraft, you can also do that here, and you can also set it as default here. And if you want to declare out all of the bindings that are in a specific profile, then you would be able to click that clear button there. In this case, we're going to delete because I don't want that demo one. And then I want to go back up to, now I've got a Moza force feedback stick as my uh, yoke or as one of my yokes. It's the only one that's plugged in at the moment. Now you can see here it's blank. That's a quirk with Moza. They in their coding didn't bother to give their device a particular label, nor did they bother to give it a picture, which is why unlike say the uh, Warthog, where you see the photo of the actual piece of hardware, when you click on this, you kind of get nothing. So that's a little bit quirky on their behalf. And then you can see here that I have created Trent's general and I have Trent's single engine. So if I wanted to see what has been assigned, you can see in this case that I assign trim left and right, nose up, nose down, flaps, ailerons, elevator access, set parking brake, ATC. I have like to have some buttons that I push with my thumb to bring up the ATC panel. Now, in this case, I don't have yet the display ATC. So I wanna map that. So let's just type in ATC. And we want to go down, we want to go back down over here and choose unassigned. So display ATC right here. That's the one I want. So I'm going to click on that and I push the thing, the little button on the controller. There it is. And the mapping is done. Now, if you're trying to map buttons without having first created your own profile, uh, Flight Sim is going to pop up this box in the middle of the screen. And it's going to say, hey, you've got to create a profile and give it a name. And here's a big issue that I ran into. When I was originally mapping my controls, I didn't do what I just advised you to do in this video. And I ended up having a bunch of duplicate profiles because I didn't realize what I was doing. And I was giving them all the same name. And then it seemed like Flight Sim was continually forgetting my bindings. And that's because I ended up having ended up having a bunch of profiles that had all the same name because it kept prompting me to make them. And it was just this kind of little nightmare loop until I figured out what was going on. And that's why I'm suggesting to y'all that you make your profile first and then you go ahead and you do your bindings for your profile. All right, now let's hop up and talk about the keyboard momentarily. So the keyboard in 2020 and 2024, the bindings are different. So how do you get, you know, let's say you had all the 2020 bindings for the keyboard memorized. Well, you can just as easily click this here to switch back to keyboard 2020. Same here, keyboard uh, 2020. Now I wasn't a big keyboard guy, so I'm going to leave it at 2024, but nonetheless, that's how you get back to those old mappings. Then what are these numbers here? This means there are multiple buttons. Whenever you see a number here, there are multiple buttons mapped to a particular option. So in this case, if we click on the three, oops, that's not what I meant to do. And there's that little box, by the way, it's talking about duplicate profile. So make sure you don't end up making a whole bunch of duplicate, duplicate profiles. Okay, so when you see a three, if we click the gear icon, you can now see what the conflicts are. We have multiple different things assigned to that particular button push. So if you wanna get rid of those, you just click on this here 
and it takes you to it. So we'll, let's say we're gonna get rid of that one. Um, and actually I don't wanna make a new profile. So I'm not gonna worry about deleting these cause I don't wanna create a whole bunch of new profiles, but nonetheless, that's how you do that. Um, so now the next thing that I wanna talk about is your actual hardware settings. So if you go into and you want to adjust the sensitivity of an access, uh, of an axis rather, go into hardware settings and you can do that. You can see you've got your axes here and then you can drag your sensitivity sliders up and down here. And again, if you don't have a profile for this, it's going to ask you to create a profile. Now in this case, because we're on none, so if we go to... Oh, we don't have a general profile for the Warthog, but if we go back to, you see, you can see some of my profiles that are there. That one, I don't want that one anymore, so we're going to get rid of that. There we go. So we've got our Warthog now. Do we have any extras that we don't want? See, there's another duplicate one, so we want to get rid of that. This was when I was messing around before, and we don't want that, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so there's just the one profile. Now, if I wanted to make a custom version, like I said, and I wanted to change my access settings, I would first of all recommend that you duplicate this and we'll just call this axis. We'll click okay. Now with that active, if you go over to hardware settings and you make adjustments, it's oddly enough, I'm not sure why it's doing this, but it's still asking you to create a new profile uh, which kind of makes no sense to me. So we're going to put it back to default. Oh, this is awfully kind of annoying, isn't it? There we go, back to zero. So perhaps your accesses have to have their own profiles as well. It's a little bit confusing. It's not quite clear to me why it is doing that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that demo one that I just made. Okay. Okay. And then once you've done that, the good thing about being in the airplane with the airplane running is you just go back into the aircraft and whatever it is that you mapped, you can go ahead and test it and say, you know, hey, did, did that have the desired outcome for what I was looking to do? Is everything mapped correctly? Yes, it is. And of course, if it isn't, then you would go back and click the gear icon so that you could make the adjustments that are needed. All right, so that is the end of this uh, controls tutorial. If you uh, found this helpful, I'd love it if you'd smash the like button. If you have questions or things that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, please do leave those down in the comments. And if this is your first time watching a video on my channel, go ahead and give a, a browse to the videos that we have here so far. And if they look like they're up your alley, consider becoming a subscriber and clicking the little bell button. And finally, if you'd like to get email notifications when I produce new long form videos like this, just go to flywithtrent.com and you can become an email subscriber. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.